Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to remove and install a power supply. So first off, what you need is your handy dandy screwdriver. And let's just open up the case by removing one thumb screw. And I just unscrewed one, uh, one other uh, screw, to, uh, screw and um, yeah, just to make it easier. So just removed one right there, thumb screw. And all you do is just slide it off and then, yeah, pretty messy. Hopefully I could fix that once the new power supply is installed and yeah. Once you do that, make sure you ground yourself with uh, your uh, metal, I guess, I don't know. Ground yourself so you don't harm any of the components inside your computer. And then unscrew your power supply. These four on the back. And also make sure everything is unplugged. Hopefully you know that. Just keep these handy and put them aside. And you unplug the cables. Remember to ground yourself again just to make sure. Let's put this on the side. And we'll uh, unplug some of the cables. Four pin. Hopefully you have uh, scissors to uh, break the cables, or I mean, uh, what's it called? These things. <laughs> I forgot what's, what they're called right now. So uh, let me get some scissors, I'll fast forward this whole thing. All right, and what you want to do is just break these zip ties, if you have some. Plug. Plug some of the cables and plug from the hard drive. I hope you can see. the Molex and Molex from the hard drive probably want to put this aside alright finally got the power supply to be able to get out I don't know why it was stuck, but you move your old power supply, and um, and you get your power new power supply, and go ahead, and put it, put it in. What I do is uh, go ahead and uh, plug in all the cables first. For instance, like the Molex collect connector to uh, the CD drive or Blu-ray drive. Right, I have a Blu-ray drive. Um, so maybe I should. I don't know what to do yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that, I guess. Find my closest Molex connector. Go 
Okay, so it should be. There we go. Should just slide in easily. Thought you were just like slamming it in there. All right, so we're just gonna plug in uh, the four pin and etc. If I could find it. Aha. Four pin. Hey, sorry guys. Um, my video just cut off right there. Um, because I ran out of battery and I ran out of a uh, disc space, which I was running out of a DVD camcorder, which I should get a new camera, which which with uh, a new uh, internal hard drive or something but I don't have the money right now I'm trying to get money and let's just get to the point and get to the instructions alright guys that's basically it for uh, installing your new power supply it's basically removing the cables from uh, their components and just like plugging your uh, newer power supply in to the same spots basically um, so that was it and it's pretty easy it shouldn't be that hard um, and yeah so don't forget to uh, plug in the screws in the back of your power supply once you're done and uh, don't forget to close the side panel and yeah and using the thumb screw and closing it remember just remember just to lock it securely your power supply into that one space and make sure you screw all the four screws that are in there and that's basically it and just one correction that I did that I said uh, about the Molex connectors connecting the hard drive that was not the Molex that was actually the SATA power cable and including the Blu-ray drive that I was that I was plugging in, that I, I also said that was um, a Molex connector, which was supposed to be a uh, SATA power cable. So my bad. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment or something. If you have any questions, so leave a comment and. I'll get back, get right back to you, and hopefully resolve your problem. Or any questions? And see you later.